We begin by looking at each of the three components of fx. The first term 4 raised to the power minus x squared is defined for all x. The second term is cos inverse of x upon 2 minus 1. Let's assume that this is equal to theta and therefore cos theta is equal to x upon 2 minus 1. Now cos theta always lies between minus 1 and 1. Therefore x upon 2 minus 1 will always lie between minus 1 and 1. Adding 1 across the board we get x upon 2 is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 and therefore x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 4. The third term ln of cos x is defined when cos x is greater than 0. Now cos x is positive when x lies in the first or the fourth quadrant and therefore x lies between minus pi upon 2 and pi upon 2. Now we plot all of these conditions on the number line. The first condition is true for all numbers on the number line. The second condition is true when x lies between 0 and 4. And the third condition is true when x lies between minus pi upon 2, which is roughly equal to minus 1.5 to pi upon 2, which is roughly plus 1.5. Therefore, all of these conditions are met when x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than pi upon 2. Therefore, the largest interval in minus pi upon 2 to pi upon 2 for which fx is defined is x greater than or equal to 0 less than pi upon 2.